Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're joining me for the very first time. Today, I'm going to do a first impression and comparison video on the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands, as well as the Elf Halo Glows. The Charlotte Tilbury ones especially have been around for a long time and e.l.f. fairly recently came out with their version. I know some people have been comparing them as dupes. I also have heard that they're not dupes, but either way, I would really like to try them both and I thought it would be fun to do a comparison video. So if you're interested in seeing that, then I hope that you will stick around and keep on watching. Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a great week. I'm really excited to do this video. We're gonna compare some Charlotte Tilbury against some e.l.f. products. I picked up actually a whole bunch of these, um, what are they called, the Halo Glow Beauty Wands. And then of course the Charlotte Tilbury ones are called, there's the Beauty Light Wand in uh, a blush, it's a high blush. Then there's the Contour Wand and the the, the highlighter one. That's what we're here to do today. Let me really quickly introduce myself for those of you guys that are new here. My name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. And this year I am trying to discover what is already in my collection, as well as bring in a few things every now and then that I'm trying to be more mindful of. If you're interested in seeing a bunch of mixed content on some old and new products, then I hope that you you will stick around and subscribe. I have had the Spotlight shade for a really long time. I bought this, I want to say maybe in the last Sephora sale, if not the one before that. Not not the most recent one and not even the one that came before, but honestly, I think has it been a year? I don't even know. But this product has been in my basket of shame for a while. I bought it and then I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it and by the time I figured it out, it would have been too late to return it anyways. And then in the most recent Sephora sale, I also picked up Peach Gasm and the Fair Medium Contour Wand, which I have been wanting to try for a really long time. Now, before I even picked up these two products, the e.l.f. Halo Glows came out, and I think I got these on some sort of a sale. I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure I got them from Ulta. Maybe I got part of them from Ulta and then a few of them from e.l.f.'s website itself. I bought way too many. I, I did. I mean, let's be, let's be real. I, I bought way too many. For the contour, I bought the Fair Light, but that looked truly more like a contour. It's a very cool tone shade based on the packaging. And then I also got the Light Medium, which I thought might actually be more true to color in comparison to the Fair Medium shade by Charlotte. We will have to see. I also bought the Champagne Highlight in hopes that that might be a good comparison to the Spotlight shade. And even though I did not pick up the Pink Gasm, from Charlotte Tilbury, I did get two blush colors in the e.l.f. formula. I got the shades Candlelit, which I think might be more comparable to Peach Gasm, but I guess we'll see. And then there's the Rosé You Slay. So let me open all of these up. We can discuss what these are all about and then try some of these products on one side of my face and some on the other and see how it goes. And if you're curious about this eye look that I have um, on right now, that video hopefully should have gone up first, in which case I will go ahead and link it. It was actually a bingo, a palette bingo. So if you want to see all about that wild bingo and uh, also I got to try my singe brushes for the very first time in that video that is a makeup brand that was recently started by Aniela Kaniquist that should have already be up on my channel oh my god how do you open this wow this is really okay there we go all right opening all of those was feet in itself. My hands have lotion on them because my eczema is still doing the most, so I'm sorry if the packaging already has fingerprints and stuff all over it, but I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to try these ones. I know these have been around for years and I have heard so many things about them, so I'm so excited to finally have these and I'm curious to see 
how these work as well. Let's see here. I'm thinking I should swatch these three first so that we can find the most comparable shades of the e.l.f. ones. So let's start with the contour wand. I have no idea how this works. This is my first time with this product and this floof ball, as Samantha March calls it. There's this little on off thing. So I guess you, if you twist it, it's on. And then what do I just like squeeze? Yes. Oh, I can see right away the product already wants to come out. So we're going to put some of this. Oh, it's very, um, thin, like very liquidy. I didn't expect it to be so thin. It's like almost see through a little bit. So let me right away swatch these two e.l.f. ones that I have. So the one I think will be the most comparable is the light medium one. Now this one, from what I understand, does not have the locking mechanism, although it does rotate as well. I don't know what is the purpose of that. If I squeeze this, yeah, same thing. The product right away starts to come out and this one definitely feels like a thicker formula, not quite as see-through. It's more opaque. And then I also have the Fair Light, which seems to be more cool toned. So we're gonna see. Oh yeah, this is not the same shade at all. So there's that right there. You can see it. So I guess I'll, hmm, I almost feel like the combination of those two could work because these three shades are not at all the same. This has more like yellow in it than the Charlotte Tilbury, which is the top one. Whereas of course the bottom shade is much more cool toned and much more of a true contour. So maybe instead of swatching everything and coming back to it, let's play around with these and see how it goes. Since I've never used a product like this before, this is total trial and error. I have no idea what I'm doing. I know people usually just draw on and then blend. I do have a couple of sponges prepared, a couple of clean sponges. So we are just going to probably use that to blend out. So I usually only really wear powder bronzer, not as well versed with cream bronzer. I do have a cream contour. So I'm gonna start doing this more as a contour and we'll see how it works because of course the shade, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a contour on me, but then I'm gonna take one of these sponges and just start blending out. Well, that blended super quickly, but I feel like it didn't blend away completely, but I do feel like I'm gonna add some more. Okay, and then I'm also going to put some on my forehead right here, and then some down here. Okay, well that was super easy, so effortless and very pretty. Let's now see how the e.l.f. one compares. I'm going to turn this around and use a clean side. Okay, that also blended super fast. Let's put some more on. Okay, yeah, the shades are definitely not the same, so we're not gonna get exactly the same look here. This one is a bit thicker, and I don't think it quite blends into the skin as seamlessly. I mean, I don't want to say it looks like there's product sitting on my face, but I don't know, maybe maybe it's picking up a little bit of my foundation. Maybe that's what it is. Something about it is not quite as nice looking as the Charlotte. And again, I don't expect these to be dupes. I just wanted to try both of them out. Let's make sure we're using the correct side of the sponge. Yeah, this is definitely a bit more yellow or orange or whatever you want to call it, especially on my very fair skin. Just a little bit more. I don't want to overdo it. I'm not somebody that wants to put too much on because then I, I don't know, I start feeling like my forehead looks dirty <laughs> instead of sun-kissed. Again, probably because I'm so fair, it is very easy for me to go from bronzed to dirty. 
Okay, and even though I normally wouldn't do this with such a warm shade, we are going to finish what we started. This is definitely a bit more neutral. That's probably a good word for it. So it's not cool toned, but it's not as warm as the e.l.f. I'm always tempted to add a teeny tiny bit of the other e.l.f. contour wand, but I'm worried that it's not going to improve this situation too much. But let's do it. Let's put just a little tiny bit of that super cool toned and let's just gently blend it in without blending it all away just to chisel that out a little bit. That's definitely, I think, more of a true contour. And of course, now I don't have that same thing on this side. Okay. I think I need to stop trying to be a mixologist over here and leave it as is before I do something crazy. So those were the Charlotte Tilbury and the e.l.f. products. Now let's tackle the blush. So for blush, I have I have Peach Gasm in the Charlotte Tilbury. Let me right away close this one so that I don't get it all over the place. All right, so we're gonna open this up and squeeze out some of this product so that we can do a swatch. Yeah, same thing. It's quite sheer when you first apply. You kind of have to build it. So I feel like it is a similar formula, just of course, quite a lot more shiny and peachy. I kind of expected this to have more pigment, to be honest, just from seeing this in videos over the years. And I can see why they still, I think, market this more as a highlight. Well, it's a high blush. So I would think for some, this could work as a highlighter. And then of course, for lighter skin tones, this could be uh, more of a blush. Something tells me if this is anything similar to the bronzer contour ones, that this is going to have a lot more pigment. So let's see if I'm right. And this is the e.l.f. one in Candlelit. Um, yeah, it's a little thicker, but honestly, it also kind of blends out to a pretty sheer situation, maybe even a little more patchy. So there it is right below Peach Gasm. That's quite similar. Okay, well, I'm excited about that. Let me swatch the other shade, even though we're not gonna use it today. This is the one in the Rosé You Slay, and the one that I thought might be closer in color to Pinkasm, which I don't own. Yeah, this one looks much deeper. I feel like the product doesn't come out evenly on this little applicator situation. That's kind of the problem here. It sort of comes out different sides than where you expect. But there is that shade. Also really pretty. I think, to be honest, if I like the formula as far as the shade, I'm gonna prefer this one. But as I said, for today, we are gonna use the two that are right above that. So I'm gonna apply this all around here. And then I think I am for now gonna actually take my other sponge and buff that in. So this is, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't feel like it blends as beautifully as the bronze, I mean, the contour one did. I feel like it kind of sticks to wherever you place it. Where did I just put that here? Because I want to use the other side. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit harder to work with, but it is pretty once blended out. It's just not quite as effortless to blend out. Let's try, let's make sure I have the right one. Let's try the the e.l.f. one. So this one's harder to apply, that's for sure. Gotta squeeze a bit, but let's see how it blends. So I'm gonna turn this sponge around. I feel like that blended away a lot faster, but it did also, because of that blend in general, a lot faster. But we're gonna put some more. Okay, this seems like it sits on the skin a little more obviously, but I did like the blending process of this a little bit more, although I think throughout the day as this sinks in to the skin, something tells me this will look maybe a little prettier because this one is just blending away more and maybe slightly patchy. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see because I unfortunately have to film late at night, so all we're working with is really my ring light. Yeah, but I feel like that blended away again a lot more, like there's more color here than there is on this cheek. And maybe it's picked up some of my foundation, which is why it's a bit more patchy. So 
Well, let's do one last little pass through here and I'm gonna go really gentle, just gently pounce so that I don't take all the color away. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. So far, I really liked the contour products from e.l.f. more, I think, than this blush. Be curious to try the other one and I feel like I also applied here a little bit more on my cheeks and not quite, didn't quite bring it in as much here. So let's see if we can extend this a little bit. Okay, this might have to do, even though I don't think I did a very even job. Okay, let's fix this. Let's put a little bit here. But yeah, I do feel like this is a little patchy. Again, I don't know if you guys will see, but I only had foundation and concealer on. I did powder my concealer, so maybe some of the patchiness is where it's picking up on some of the powder in case I got it down too far. But I don't have any powder anywhere else on my face yet because I wanted to play with cream products today. All right, let's lock this up, close this up, and let's do the highlight. So we have Spotlight for Charlotte Tilbury, and is it just called highlight? And Champagne for the e.l.f. So same system, we unlock it and let's swatch this. Oh, a lot of air just came out. Wow, okay. People weren't kidding when they said there's a lot less product in here than what might one think. Okay, here we go. I'm seeing the product on my skin. Are you guys even going to be able to see that? I feel like it's basically my skin tone. I don't know. Can you guys see it right there? I hope so. And then... The e.l.f. one is also definitely thicker. I can see that right away. It's right, I hope you can see. It's a little bit more, I don't know, it's, I don't wanna say it's darker. It just has a different undertone. So we're gonna have to see how different these look on my cheeks. So let's put some up here. And I'm gonna use clean side of this sponge. And we're also gonna put some right here, just mainly, so we have more places to compare. Okay, that's quite nice. My gosh, I really need to start taking care of my skin. My texture lately has gotten worse. And then we have the e.l.f. one, which we're gonna put right here and see how that goes here yeah, this side is clean yeah this one's definitely thicker and just sort of sits again on the skin a bit although i would have expected this to highlight my texture even more than the charlotte tilbury and i think because this is more glowy this actually highlights my texture more so than the elf you guys will have to tell me how it's coming across on camera. Oh, that was a bit much, but okay. That went a little crazy. Okay, I also put a little bit more lip liner because I don't know what's happening with my lips and I don't know if I like it. But regardless, we're not here for the lips today. We are here for this comparison between the Charlotte Tilbury and the e.l.f. I would love to hear what you guys think just based on what you're seeing. I feel like the e.l.f. blush really faded away. Like even though I reapplied it several times, I'm not really seeing much of the blush. Now I'm seeing still the contour and the brown bronzer and the highlight and I feel like when I was blending the highlight the blush again just blended away whereas here I do feel like I see all three colors quite nicely so there's that yeah I think based on first impressions I really enjoyed all of the Charlotte Tilbury products though they've been so hyped for so many years i have to be honest i think i expected more but i really did like the blush the peach gasm shade even though at first i was skeptical and i think on a day when my skin is doing a little bit better i will really enjoy the highlight because there is definitely a little bit more shine coming from it i think than the elf for the elf for me the standout are the contour wands and then 
In second place, I would put the highlighter. And so far, in third place, the blush. I will definitely want to use the other one, but I can't say I'm really impressed with this one in the color Candlelit. This is just a first impression. I just wanted to do this on camera with you guys. I figured, why not? It would be so much more fun that way. And I would love to bounce off ideas down in the comments, see what you guys think. Do you have any of these products? Have you been curious about either one or both and what do you think looks better on me hopefully this video is short and sweet i don't usually do too many of those so i'm excited that this one hopefully won't be too long and yeah i'm trying to think is there anything else i am forgetting i guess price wise i can't remember now what are these like 40 each and then these i know are nine each so of course there is a huge price difference however as far as the product amount so do these all have 0.33 fluid ounces? Yeah, these all have 10 mLs or 0.33 ounces, whereas these have 12 mL and 0.4 fluid ounces. Not that huge of a difference as far as the amount of product. This just has, you know, another like 0 0.7, 0 0.07 of an ounce. So definitely price-wise, regardless, these are still much, much cheaper. I've heard that... Actually, Makeup Revolution has some pretty decent ones and I'm not usually a comparison or review channel, but I'm almost tempted at some point to pick those up. I think what I'm gonna do is wait and see how often am I reaching for products like this now that I've tried them. How often am I going to really want to go ahead and keep playing with these and then decide at a later time. So let me know. Let me know if you've tried the Makeup Revolution ones as well. I know also Tarte has these now. Now, for some reason, I'm not really interested in trying those. I don't know why. I guess because if I'm going to try another product just like this, I kind of want it to be super affordable. And while Tarte is not as expensive as Charlotte Tilbury, it's definitely not in that 8 to $9 price range. So yeah, with that, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these products or on this video in general. I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. One more reminder to please subscribe if you haven't already already. And other than that, I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.